Hey friends, this is T again with another reaction video. And today we're going to be doing a reaction on Kingdom of the Planet of the Apes exclusive extended preview. Now, you know, I love the previews. I love the behind the scenes. I can't wait until they come out with the behind the scenes for this, man. I'm just so excited about that. This movie definitely going to the theater to watch this, man. I mean, I am already, already know I'm not going to be disappointed. I already know. And I can't say that by, about too many movies that's coming out these days. I just know that this is going to be a good movie. It's, let me just put it this way. It's not going to be bad. I mean, we can talk about the levels of how good it is, but it's not going to be bad. I guarantee that. I just know. I just know. And I might do a preview of it after I go see it. I haven't been in the movie theater in quite a while. That's why you rarely ever see me doing previews. Because if I got to get out of my get out of my house get out of my seat and go all the way down and watch these movies man i just want it to be worth it okay just worth it and the planet of the apes is always worth it to me okay to me all right so let's go ahead and get into this but before we do please like subscribe and share this video and don't forget to hit that notification bell that way you know whenever we come out with new videos okay all right let's get with it Oh, that's beautiful, man. I'm loving this already. You gotta give it to monkeys, man. I'm so scared of heights. Oh, that's so scary to me. Just watching this, man. Oh, this looks so good. Make your heart still. The right egg will sing to you. Elder Luna is elder. <laughs> oh, man, I tell you, man, the technology looks so good. I mean, why are they stealing eagle eggs for? Silk. <laughs> Man, he didn't even think about it. We will raise them together. Like I admit, man, this just looks so excellent. Look at that, man. I think I'm gonna use that as my uh, my thumbnail. Oh, now. Normally, I would just watch this through, but I think I'm going to have to stop it here and there since it's this long. But yeah, this this uh, this live caption thing, you know, I, I'm thinking that's what it's called. It looks so good. And it's, you just wonder why a lot of these other shows can't do the same. If you're going to mess with this kind of thing, then you got to make sure it looks right. It can't look cheap or crappy or just don't do it. We were raised. It will be the same. 
I also want to mention the acting too. It's so subtle and so smooth and, and you can feel the emotion between them. It's like they have a relationship. You just can tell. And that's what I hate about Disney when they do, you know, animal movies now instead of the cartoons, because for some reason they got a, a, a big issue of making the animals express themselves. So you can have that, that, that feeling. They want to make it so realistic that it just kind of like throws you off. You know, that's that's what I love about going to certain places out of out of the United States, because we tend to want to build uh, on everything on all land that we running out of land now. And when you go to other countries, like when I went to Germany, it was just beautiful like this, man. A lot of the parts, because they don't build on everything, like in the United States. They try to, like, tear down all of it. I'm surprised we even have trees now. But I love this. I love this. I think it's so beautiful. It's too far. What are you planning on doing no. with that? Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that was smart. I would have never done nothing like that in there. So what was he looking for? More eggs? Maybe he bit off more than he can chew, man. That looks so unstable. It looks so scary, too. I'd be wondering sometimes, like, do animals have any type of fear of possible falling? That's probably what they, why they can do it so good. I mean, other than the fact that they're strong as hell, but no fear. You know what I'm saying? Just no fear. Like Daredevil, right? No fear. Oh, they want them eggs bad, boy. What's up with that? Uh -oh. Red that egg, man. Look at that. <laughs> yeah, the world are hurt right now, boy. <laughs> let the egg go. <laughs> uh -oh. So if that was a human hanging like that, it'd still be like they're in danger because you don't know how long they can hold on to that. But since it's him, then they know he could just climb back up again with no problem. As long as he can get a, a a hand over something. And they and they feet also like hands too. They can grab on the things. So this is not a big deal for them. See? <laughs> All right, this looks excellent. I love it. And it, other than the uh, special effects, I keep forgetting the name of it. Um, um, some human capture, something like that. I, got, I keep forgetting the name of it, but it's excellent. Excellent. Whoever do these movies, the special effects for these movies should do it for everybody. Disney, everybody, right? Get it right. And, and, and the emotion is very important. And that's the reason why they hire certain actors to do this. Because they really want to bring emotion out. And they know it won't work if they can't do that. Now, if you look at the original uh, Planet of the Apes, it was very difficult for them to have emotions on their face because they were a mask. And that's very hard. All they, all they can do, I mean, they were able to do a good job with what they had. But it wasn't able to capture facial expressions like they can do in this. I think when they have finally invented this man, it was like perfect. And they should use it when they're able to if you got the budget for it then use it a lot of the times they'll use it and it looks cheap and i don't like that it's almost like you should have just
put on a suit now for the fantastic four from what i'm hearing they're going to use this um uh, motion capture that's what it is motion capture for the thing which i think is great i don't understand i mean i think they did it in the last uh fantastic four but it looked crappy though i didn't like the way the thing looked make the thing look like the freaking thing man i'd be like i don't know why they would try to get creative and try to give it a new look make everybody look like what they're supposed to look like so hopefully they'll be able to get the expression and the feeling of the thing because the thing was a very emotional and uh very sensitive very loyal you know especially to reed richards and he also had a um a, a relationship with i think felicia i think that's what her name if i can remember it right but you know you're gonna need that kind of thing when you have creatures having emotions and feelings in order for you to be captured by these movies and that's what i love so much about these movies because of the emotion and the connection that these uh apes have with each other i mean it's just so human and you know for years on um, and centuries we looked at you know um apes as the closest relative to humans i don't know how accurate that is but they do have not only similarities to us but also emotions too as well Especially when these jokers get furious. I remember they used to teach us in school the monkeys like bananas and they so sweet and nice. Nationality, they meat eaters. <laughs> you know, I guess we just decided to make them vegetarians at some point, right? But they actually meat eaters and they can be quite vicious to the point where they can rip you apart. For some reason they go for certain things like your eyes and nose and fingertips and stuff like that. I mean, when they come at you, man, that's pretty much it. If you can't get away, you gonna get tore up. You might survive. You might, but you are gonna be losing some limbs or whatever, right? These jokers are, are, are fierce. But I'm just saying that, you know, they very similar to us in a lot of ways. So I can understand people thinking somehow we have some kind of link to them. I doubt it though. I don't really believe that because as a Christian, we just don't believe that kind of thing, right? Like I don't believe in cavemen. I don't care what they dug up. I don't care what they say. I don't believe in all that stuff about cavemen and all that kind of stuff. I think we were able to talk. We were able to reason from the beginning. Okay. I'm an Adam and Eve type person. All right. But either way, I think the emotions in these movies is what really sells it. And why a lot of people now, if you're going to drag your girlfriend, for example, to a movie like this, you, you she knows she's going to get a lot of emotion with this. A lot of emotion so she's going to enjoy it now it might be risky if you take her to a superhero movie or whatever you don't know exactly what you'll get out of it like the x-men 97 there's a lot of relationships a lot of emotion in that so a lot of women are doing reaction to this and they loving it right so if you put a lot of emotions and relationships and things of that sort into the movie or whatever it is women tend to enjoy it and i know so far I've seen a lot of women say they enjoyed Planet of the Apes. They even enjoyed the old ones as well. But like I say, if you don't have that type of emotion, and I can't get that from watching, you know, Doolittle <laughs> and uh, uh, Mufasa when they look literally like freaking animals. They're freak. I mean, that really freaks you out. They didn't have no emotions on their face whatsoever. Okay, so it's like that just throws it all off for me. It made me not want to see it. But I haven't been disappointed since the first of the new Planet of the Apes, man. I know I'm not going to be disappointed with this. This is going to be, I believe, it's going to be a great movie. And it's prob probably going to make the most money if it, because I think Deadpool coming out next year. If Deadpool was coming out this year, I'd be thinking Deadpool would be the, uh, making the most money. I don't know when it's coming out, but I think it might be coming out next year. So I, I think this movie is going to, make more money than any other movie this summer i believe that you know and that's sad because i want more things to look to look forward to but you know i mean as long as the other movies are good I'm, I'm good to go but you know i think this is probably one just the only one movie that i'm going to actually physically go to the theater for i don't know if i'm going to um go to it for another but i really don't know what else coming out this summer that i want to go see it I got to think about that. But right now, this is the only movie I know for sure I'm going to the theater to see. Like I said, when Godzilla Minus One came out, I didn't immediately go to see that. I wasn't sure about it. I wanted to see what other people was going to say. And all I heard was good reviews. That's it. It was fantastic. I think Grace Randolph gave it a bad review. 
so I'm, I'm not really understanding that why she did that i mean she she's she had the right to have her own opinion of course but i'm just saying right since everybody thought it was good since i, I mean i went to see it i thought it was great but i didn't want to go see it until i was sure knew that it was going to be good i mean whether i like it or not that, that depends on me but i enjoyed it i really do and the motions in that movie was fantastic and that's what they need to do with these movies man i don't care if it's sci-fi or whatever that's why i like alien right you know shikana weaver really brought out that character and the emotion that they was going through in that movie and so i i think i think this is gonna this is gonna make a lot of money man you know a lot of these a lot of these companies will start to kind of drop the dei and all the pc putting out these political messages and stuff now they just want to do movies now and that's the way it should be because hollywood is really falling man it's really falling and they need to start making movies that's going to make money instead of them continuously you know trying to virtual signal 24 hours a day so you know like i say if i'm gonna spend my money on something that i know that i don't have to worry about the crazy there's movies like this definitely okay all right i really appreciate all of you coming by thanks again this is t and peace Thank you.